Hello and welcome to Diecast Restos, where today I am tackling two separate 1960 castings. Similar in colour, they go together as a matching pair nicely. This is the 27C Cadillac 60 Special, which remained in the 1-75 range until 1966. There were a number of colour variations on this casting, which I'll go into a bit later. You'll note the caddy has a towing hook, so to hook up to it, I have this 23C Bluebird Dauphine Caravan, missing a door and part of its towing eye. This was produced until 1965, replaced by another caravan, the 23D, having replaced two previous caravan entries at 23A and 23B respectively. So first, the Cadillac. It is based on the 1958-60 Special, of which there were 36,000 units produced between 1957 and 1958. It had a 310 horsepower, 365 cubic inch V8. It differed from the 57 car by having a wider grille with rubber studs, as well as adopting a four round headlight design, in keeping with the rest of the Cadillac range. The Dauphine by Bluebird was manufactured from 1960, and I'll leave a link here to a very informative video about the sole surviving real caravan. But the Caddy had full fender skirts that covered the rear wheels, plated in stainless steel. It was based on the GMC body platform, which had been the case since 1938. The 1938 to 41 first generation 60 Special sat between Cadillac's base series 60 and senior models. They were the lowest priced line of cars. The four door sedan was made to look like a convertible sedan. It was a sales success, accounting for 39% of all Cadillacs sold in its first year. The second generation followed in 1942, built on an extended version of the GMC platform, which Cadillac would utilise for 28 of the next 34 years. It stopped production in 1941 because of the war, and recommenced in 1945 until the 1948 model year. It was redesigned for the 48 to 49 third generation, including a smaller but more powerful V8 motor for the 1949 model year. These and the following 50 to 53 fourth gen 60 specials were specced up and elongated versions of the Series 62, but without the option of manual transmission from 1950. Cadillac were able to pull more power from the 331 cubic inch V8 for the 1954 fifth generation car, but a new, larger and more powerful engine became available on the 1956 offering. Following our 6th generation based casting came the 7th in 1959, which had revised and striking tail fins. The 365 cubic inch V8 carried over from the 1956 car was uprated to 390 cubic inches. The 8th generation then received a squarer, more formal looking roofline. Then in 1965, the 60 Special was significantly restyled, losing the fins and twin round headlamps replaced with a stacked pair instead. These returned to previous form for 1969 with an all new grille and tail lights. The 1971 tenth generation was again a much squarer vehicle, which throughout its time only received periodic front and rear end facelifts. By 1976, the 60 Special Series had been discontinued. However, the nameplate did return on the 1987 to 1993 front wheel drive new C platform. The first cars were known as the Fleetwood 60 Special, and planned production was for only 2,000 cars, but by the end of production, a figure closer to 12,500 had been built. Now while I tackle the bent and broken pillars of the caravan's wraparound windows, a quick word on the Bluebird Dauphine. Bluebird were primarily a static caravan manufacturer, who also produced towing caravans such as the Dauphine. Bluebird had designed an identical clone of the Fairhome range of caravans in an act of revenge on the company director, who happened to be the chairman of the National Caravan Council. He had refused Bluebird approved status, effectively saying Bluebird's products are not up to standards. Bill Knott, who ran Bluebird, named this caravan the Cambrian after a hill located close to the Fairhome factory. Then, as further insult to injury, Bluebird's entire range was unveiled in the building opposite where the National Caravan Council were holding their AGM. Same day, same time. 
An agreement was eventually made, but the Cambrian had to cease production, leading to the introduction of the Dauphine. Bluebird later merged with Sprite Caravans to form Caravans International in 1963. As for the casting, well this had a longer lifespan, lasting for five years. All were coloured a metallic mauve shade, with early versions receiving a crimson base, teamed with a black door. This quickly changed to a metallic lime green, shared with the earlier Berkeley Caravan, before switching up to metallic mauve again, this time all over. Here's my slightly pinker interpretation of that shade. Both lime and multi-colour versions are extremely rare. All versions of the 23C carried the same MB23 on tow decals of the 23A and B. Most came with grey or silver plastic wheels, but the very late castings had black wheels fitted. With the 60 Special, I've given the casting an initial coat of TS7 Racing White, an off-white to cream colour. Most came with a light pink or cream coloured roof from the factory, while the body was initially painted metallic green. It was recoloured to silver grey and can be found with the common crimson or rarer maroon or black bases. Another recolour was made to metallic lilac shortly afterwards. It had plastic windows fitted, either clear or green tinted. Wheels are most commonly silver plastic, but it was produced with black or grey alternatives. As for the trim, while the caravan received none, the caddy was dripping in detail. The bumpers, front and rear, grille and headlights all received silver, while the tail lights had a touch of red applied. Later, the rear bumper was emitted, followed by the red tail lights. I'm now prepping mine for its pink colour, and once that has dried, I'll finish it with the full trim treatment. I decided to not seal the tape with a coat of clear to prevent running on this occasion. I wanted an authentic Lesney mask sprayed style finish, where you'd see little specks of colour mixing rather than perfectly crisp lines. See what you think when I take off the tape in a short while. Right now, I'm reassembling the caravan in order to apply the decal. Since the door is hinged, it is held in place by a notch in the roof and on the base. Then it is a push fit finish. And there we have it, a functioning reproduction door. Next, I begin prep to apply the reproduction on tow decal. As always, I'll leave a link to the source of the reproduction parts and decals in the description below. This particular decal has a really strong yellow background colour, and the lines and lettering are exceptionally crisp. It was still a bit damp applying the Mr. Mark softer, hence why it moved a bit there. But once that's set, I finished the van with some chrome on the wheels. The front axle of the caddy base gets some too. Now though, here's the peeling of the tape, where you'll hopefully see a soft finish to the lines. This 3M tape is great. I've never had an issue with the relatively fresh paint sticking to it. But here's the finished article, with two colours that really complement one another, and are so well associated with a 1950s car. Finally, we reach the detailing stage of the build. I use both my 1 and 2mm Molotow Chrome paint pens to fill in the headlights, grille and bumper at the front, as well as the bonus Cadillac emblem. At the back, I cover the tail lights and bumper in chrome, with a red sharpie later covering the rear lights. My polished clear window piece is fitted securely, which just makes this casting look even better in my opinion. I then thread the rear axle in ready for fitting. These wheels are held in place by the side skirts once it has been overlaid. The two drilled rivet posts are aligned, snapped fit, and secured with a screw. So this is my 1960 duo of a 27C Cadillac 60 Special and a 23C Bluebird Dauphine Caravan, both made by Lesney for the Matchbox series. Both were really dull and both were broken. The caddy had a snapped tow hook, while the caravan had a snapped towing eye and was missing its door. I thought these two would go together quite well in a matching colour. So here's my caddy caravan combo. 
Each has received a beaming coat of pearl light red, and don't they look better for it? The detail in the caddy is outstanding, and the chrome trim really helps enhance it. I've done some basic fixes on the towing hook and towing eye, as well as fitting a replacement door on the Dauphine. It had some adjustment to the slightly bent front window pillars, while it also had a new decal fitted to the rear. The two-tone I've purposefully given a soft, possibly blotchy masked finish, as you'd have seen out of the Lesney factory. But I think the pink and cream has come out looking fantastic. It's certainly time well spent sorting out these two castings. But that's all from me for today. Be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe for more. Help support the channel on Patreon if you can, thanks to my patrons. Links are at the end of the video. But all that leaves me to say is thanks for watching, and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.